Welcome back to the Sleuth Intuition channel. Today we will be discussing Ellen Greenberg's case. Ellen Greenberg's parents lost a court case recently to overturn her ruling uh, from self-inflicted to a homicide. It was January 26, 2011. Greenberg was found by her fiance bloodied and lifeless on a kitchen floor of her apartment. Let's take a listen to the 911 call. Oh, I, I, I need, I need a, I need a, everything now. I just, I just walked to my apartment. My fiance's on the floor with blood everywhere. My, my, I just, my, I went downstairs to go work out. I came back up. The door was latched. My fiance's inside. She wasn't, she wasn't answering. So after about a half hour, I decided to break it down. I see her now just on the floor with blood. She's not, she's not responding. Wait, it was just you there with her? We, yeah, we're the only ones here. Then lance it shut? No, no, I, I, I went downstairs to work out, and I, when I came back up, the door was latched. Oh. Like, it was, you know, it wasn't like, it was, you know, it was like locked from the inside. Well, you know, was the house broken into? No, 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 no. So no sign of a break-in? No, no sign of a break-in at all. I mean, there will be when you get here, because I had to break the latch, but to get in. Ellen's family has been trying for a decade to change the ruling in her case. Philadelphia detectives treated the death as self-inflicted and did not secure Ellen's apartment as a crime scene. The following day, her death was ruled a homicide by the Philadelphia Medical Examiner's Office after an autopsy. Dr. Marlon Osborne cited multiple stab wounds by an unknown person. Dr. Osborne, the pathologist who performed the autopsy, changed his ruling from homicide to self-inflicted after meeting with local law enforcement. The scene was cleaned and sanitized before investigators ever had a chance to take a second look. When looking at the evidence, this seems to be a physical impossibility to inflict these kind of wounds upon yourself. I hope the Greenbergs do find the help that they need. Let's help keep this case alive and help find justice for Ellen. Thank you.